So guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are in Muranga County and uh, we are visiting a purple tea farm. light at this stage it's called now we are going to the green farm so guys you can see it's very green so you see how we are going to get to the farm and we will see you in a bit but is it sante eh <laughs> I'm Joseph. Joseph. I'm working here, Caribbean. Santa I'm Nicole. Oh, from America. <laughs> from Mombasa. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that this fireplace because it's very cold. And uh, we need to Hi. <laughs> Why purple? Purple tea is actually a variant. When I take you to the farm, you'll see it's purple. The tea is actually purple. But it's purple because it's been drafted with a chemical component called anthocyanide. It has a, you'll find it's an antioxidant. You'll find it in blueberries or blackberries. It gives them that purple color. Mm -hmm. So they grafted that with the normal tea, green bush tea, to now make the purple bush tea. Mm -hmm. Before the hike, <laughs> the vlog has started. Maybe I go home anymore. Hi. Look at your neck. We are here at the Papo Tea Farm. Yeah. Wow. Just say you're looking for a squad. You're looking for a squad. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. It felt short, <laughs> and some people find it long. My name is Catherine, um, and I will be your host for today. Shiki. Um, Shiki. Hi, hi, so <laughs> hi, Catherine. Basically, going to simulate what happens at the factory. Yeah. So the factory that we we process a very minimalistic three-step process, mm. and we're going to be able to do that through a process called panning. So you're going to use one pan or one wok to basically do the whole process. And then after that, you're going to do a tea tasting of about 10 different types of teas that we make at our cottage factory. And then from there, you head on down to the waterfall for a beautiful bamboo forest um, where we can take cold plunges <laughs> because it is very cold, but it's really, really good. It's refreshing. And then after that, you'll come home for lunch. And then after lunch, you're free to hang out by the bonfire if you want to do that. Yeah. And then you, that's what you want to do. Okay, so now I'm going to just start with explaining um, about how my time got into tea. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to do a little explanation on how tea works or how the tea industry works. And then we move into purple tea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we started farming tea 1940s from my grandfather all the way to my parents started to plant their own in the 1970s, 1929 to be specific. 
up until now we were planting it and selling it like every other small scale farmer where mm. you plant your tea and then you sell it to ktda everyone's kenyan today so everyone knows what ktda is yeah mm. kenyan tea development authority mm. and then they process it for you and they basically take it to mombasa for the auction mm. right um so we did that until 2016 when we built our own cottage factory a small factory that basically processes speciality tea Mm. So speciality tea or whole leaf tea if everyone mm. I, I think everyone has heard of whole leaf tea yeah you have heard of it okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. i've never yeah. heard of it yeah. <laughs> yeah. we don't take it just hey uh, she knows her stuff she actually okay. knows her stuff <laughs> she does know whole leaf tea perfect so opposite of whole leaf tea is <laughs> dust or ctc tea that's the one I take. That's the one you take. Yeah. CTC stands Daily. for cut, tear, curl tea. Okay. Right? So it's cut, torn, and curled into very little pieces, mm. and it's mm. like powder. Mm. So the one that you find in your tea bags that are flat, that's mm -hmm. usually CTC tea. Mm. You'll infuse it in your cup sometimes, and mostly we'll take it with milk and sugar, mm. because when it's taken just pure with water, it's a bit bitter, right? Mm. And that bitterness in the tea industry is called astringency. Mm. So it's a bit astringent. It's like a starchy taste uh, yeah. that you feel at the back of your tongue. Strong. Strongy. Mm. Mm. Abisa, Stocha. Mm. Opposite of that one is whole leaf tea. So whole leaf tea or speciality tea is basically consumed whole. So we try not to, when you crush and tear tea, that's when it becomes bitter. So strungi, why strungi is very, very sometimes bitter is because it's been crushed and torn and curled. Whole leaf tea, you try to retain the integrity of the leaf. And so it's a very minimalistic process of basically trying to retain the integrity of the leaf. Okay. Here is where all the nutrients are actually concentrated on the tip. So from the bud, once you start going down, the premiumness of the tea decreases, it becomes more astringent and bitter, and the quality reduces. But the best quality of tea is at the top, which is the tip. Okay. We like to call this the champagne of tea. Oh, so you will taste a lot of champagne today. Mm -hmm. You'll taste the champagne from the purple bush, and you'll also taste the champagne from the green bush. Yeah. Okay. So nutrients are concentrated here. When you go down, it reduces. So how you pick tea and how you're going to pick tea today is two leaves and a bud. Mm. So first leaf, second leaf. This is the bud. That's so what the bud picking. is the, the one that's good. The, the bud is the one that's good and has all the highest concentration. This is also really good. This is also really good. Once mm. we stop here, the premiumness reduces. Mm. Uh, so if you CTC tea, they'll typically make it even with three leaves on a bud or four leaves on a bud because mm. economically it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It'll just be better, but most people consume it with milk and sugar, so you can't tell the difference. Mm. But with whole leaf tea or speciality tea, we can't take those ones. We yeah. only take these. Ones, Do right? they sell that to Kenya? Yeah. yeah. I, I heard, heard that. that I heard that. No, the, the whole leaf tea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole leaf tea is so <laughs> Yeah, well, it is, but you can go to the factories and buy it. Yes. Oh. So there is that nar narrative, I guess, that yeah. the good tea is usually exported and we get yeah. the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. But mostly, because we're, we're, we're most of the people that make specialty teas, especially in Kenya, are private um, companies, right? Or private mm -hmm. factories. Mm -hmm. But the market will still be largely exported because yeah. those are the people that are requesting for whole leaf tea mm -hmm. once you get to kenya and including my own parents maybe mm -hmm. just my mother she like still wants her tea with milk and sugar mm -hmm. yeah, I want so even like this one um, it's just like well i mean it's nice yeah. but no she still it's, wants it's, that so we're all very nostalgic exactly it's a very specific taste note right but it's like especially the champagne one you will taste all this today you will taste the champagne and you'll compare the champagne to two leaves and a bud, mm. even to one leaf and a bud, which we call white tea. Mm. So I would say it's smooth. Mm. It's smooth and it's very delicate. You will tell that, of, of course, if you add milk and sugar, then you'll not be able to decant the like delicate yeah. taste notes mm. in the tea. Right? This is the birth of it, yes, and oh. this is the first farm that they actually right. planted purple tea. Oh. So when, they, when they made it in the lab, mm -hmm. they came here to test the growing conditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from here now, they distributed the seedlings and the cuttings from here to the rest of Kenya and to the rest of the world. Oh, but dope. purple tea is actually a Kenyan product. Wow. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And so well, basically well, what they did is they grafted the green bush mm -hmm. with anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is a chemical component that you find in blueberries and blackberries. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The bush is very 
mm-hmm. good for. Very good. So then this is actually really healthy. healthy. It's very healthy. Who so knows? they grafted okay. those two to make the purple tea. So this has about 15 times the level of antioxidants that the normal mm-hmm. tea would have. Mm-hmm. So in terms of sugar regulation, mm-hmm. um, in terms mm-hmm. of regulating um, weight because of sugar, mm-hmm. regulating pressure, your skin, you'll find a lot of South Korean skin products will infuse this into like their face serum yeah. and their face creams because it's very good anti-aging properties moisturization reflection of uv lights because mm-hmm. so it's almost plants, like sunscreen as well so yes plants actually yes, make yes, antioxidants yes. to protect them from the sun rays oh. and so when this has 15 times the level of the one that that yeah, one has yeah. it's very intense so it's a great yeah. sunscreen wow um, as well wow. it's great in smoothies it's great so in how would you for this is this is tea right so yes. then how do you turn that into like a moisturizer or whatever? Oh, so or I guess that you, just the science. the cosmetic not even the cosmetic Andy. industry will typically <laughs> use Good a little you. what do you call it like they'll distill it and use um an extract mm-hmm. an extract an extract of this okay. also oh, you don't just wrap the leaf you extract the liquor yeah. then you can just rub it on and, and how do you, you find a way it? for it to infuse it you can boil it you can put it in creams yes you can do so much with it I generally usually blend it and I'll put it into my face scrubs or stuff that I can wash out yeah I'll just put it in I know what I'm doing with my bubble tea okay yeah you're not drinking bubble tea uh, the the thing for like um using natural natural things yeah. for like your skin yeah shouldn't it be like as a controlled substance because you have to see so the like, guys that slump turmeric on their face yeah me i slump turmeric on my face and i have four boils the next day Metal. so Ooh. if guys have like easy super <laughs> sensitive skin, yeah they can use it yeah but, like you know the way like there'll be like um those Korean products like mm. rice so, because right, it's right, extracted right. and, and it's it's controlled. Mm. The extraction is controlled. Pepsi okay, Nini. I'm not so proud of my new job. Shit. That was a whole too bad. So they've said two leaves in the bud. I need to, yeah. We are from the farm. We've picked the tea. We were being told about so basically purple tea has been grafted. I've seen the tea, it's very good, very nice plantation. And they say it is uh, 1800 meters above sea level and they say it is only allowed to be at 1700 meters. So it's cold here now. I think we want to go to the waterfalls, then come back and have land. So stay tuned as we do more of this uh, farm tour in Gatura and I'll see you again soon. So I was alone but another team joined me and uh, so yeah, we are doing this together. The more the merrier. Like, this area is full of very nice vegetation. It is green everywhere. Everywhere. The homesteads are green. Everywhere is green. So I need to 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 basically loosen it up to be able to roll it in the next stage. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the first step is withering. It's done in a roaster in the factory for about three minutes. Yeah, we'll do it in our walk. Mm-hmm. Is it you who is like no, we're going for our walk? Oh, yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it in our walk. Probably Bev. <laughs> is it oh. Bev? No, 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 no. I didn't say anything about that. No. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 It sounds like yeah. a joke, Bev. And then oh. the second stage is going to be rolling. The rolling is also done in a machine in the factory. We're going to have that sounds like Saya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really do it. They'll mm. typically try and do some sort of quality control mm. on the tea. And how they do that is they take about a hundred leaves and they select seventy-five of them. 
So mm-hmm. if you're fine with them at two leaves and above, mm-hmm. that batch is approved uh, and it can um, go into production. If they're not, how do they count them? Oh, they make me feel small. I just want to show people. So then, um, when that is approved, I'm crashing. If it's not approved, it's going to make. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. It's not hot. My hands are not magically hot. They do. It's not warm. It's just warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's just warm. Nice and warm. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Weed. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like weed. Mm. No, it's not like weed. It's not like weed. It's Have you tried some pollen? Mm-hmm. So, we're basically just two things that this withering process does mm-hmm. the first is it dehydrates it and makes it more malleable the second mm-hmm. one is the teas that we don't want to oxidize oxidization in the tea world equals caffeine mm-hmm. ah. so teas like so green tea. and caffeine so, in this process. so we don't decaffeinate because i think coffee beans already have a mm. level of caffeine so mm. they have to decaffeinate it mm. tea does not come with a caffeine mm. what happens the is, is you yes the you can increase the level of caffeine because of oxygen exactly so mm. when you pick the tea immediately you pick the tea it's already exposed mm. it starts oxidizing or fermentation starts occurring mm. so this process stops the fermentation from occurring because it basically seals the open wound mm. and that helps so when we're making okay. green tea or purple tea mm. this process is very crucial okay. to stop the fermentation from happening Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Why is it changing color now? Good one. Mm-hmm. The heat makes it change color. It'll come back to its purple color, mm-hmm. but the heat will mm-hmm. temporarily change it into like a dark green color. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, all 10 of us picked this much. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> this smell is uh, a lot. Eh? Too much. <laughs> not, not, so not the best actually, thing. Call, please. Mm-hmm. Press it down a bit mm-hmm. for maybe just a few seconds that it gets a bit of heat. And then you just scoop it, but mm-hmm. use this so your fingers don't get burnt. Mm. Or use, use the other leaves. Yeah, use the other leaves basically to scoop it back mm. up. So you can just press it down. Mm, it smells it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. Mm. It smells like medicine. Getting there. No, it smells like spinach. Spuma. Spuma spinach. It's very grassy or vegetal. Wow. Spuma. Yeah, it smells like yeah. cow. And then you do the how long are you supposed to do it? Now it's not too wet, so maybe we'll do it for about five minutes and it should be nice and sticky. We're trying to get into a sticky consistency mm-hmm. so that when we're rolling it, the okay. the bowl mm-hmm. will just try to retain its structure in your palm. Question. The I didn't bowl. get why we are doing this. The withering. Mm. So the withering Sorry. is to Don't try and make the leaf malleable. <laughs> yeah, you see now it's very rigid, it's very hard. <laughs> If we do the rolling, it will start cutting and tearing. Mm. So we need it to be a bit more flexible so that when we're rolling it, it's the other Yeah. 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 Mm. It's all nicely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yesterday's tour and the day before, they had a problem with this because it was so wet. No. It took so long to do this. I think we even did the tea tasting before we came back to oh. find it dry. Oh. But today, at least, it's, it's so this dry. will dry it out completely. Um, not completely. Okay. Maybe just to about it like forty like percent. Yeah, let me just make it short. Yeah. The last stage will dry it out. Oh, nice. oh. okay. Is so there a time where you find it uh, very dry, like dry kamas yeah, and dried? Where these ones, like at the end, like in the process, and then now the ends. Yeah, so the ends. When the one that you'll take like home with you today, <laughs> <laughs> you can make sure you dry it in the walk until it's just oh, no. and then you can use that as sour wine. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can put yeah. it no, press. in water. That's and you put it. hot water. Oh, yeah. 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 And you can keep that for how long? You can keep that. So tea is like wine, it yeah. ages beautifully. Yeah. Tea. Yeah. Oh. As long as you transfer it to an airtight yeah. container, it's perfect. But this one on the package, I think they write two years, and that's just for government regulation. Can you put it in like a tin? Exactly. You can put it in a tin. Or you vacuum seal. It. Oh yeah. Oh. I can seal it or put it in an airtight it's container. So this one you can still keep for two years. Yeah. That one you can put in a tin. Yeah. 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 But if you want to keep it for two years, the more they stay. Okay, I'm not decorating, but like I'm just saying three months. Because I'm probably gonna put it in a tin. Even in the package for three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can put it in the tin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For two years it'll still be okay. No, now it's hot. I can even tell that it's getting smoky. That's good though. This is so cool. I didn't know it Six, takes this much. Uh, it makes me, hey? I should start drinking more tea. And it's getting nice and 
speaking, so now which is great. in the factory they do large scale of this. Large so scale and nothing is machine. done by hand. Yeah. So everything no is a machine machines. except for put, feeding it into the machine and taking it out. But everything is in big cylindrical, mm. very high heat. Mm. Um, but it obviously makes it about a lot more efficient and hygienic. And so this tea, even though it will be ready for you to consume, mm. the best is the first infusion to pour it out, like because we all, yeah. all touched it with our hands yeah. and things before mm. that one out. And then you take the second one. Oh, yeah. oh so you can How use it twice. Can it give you? Oh, that's a good like question. With holy tea, it can give you up to four rounds. So as opposed to the tea bag where you get mm. one good cup, yeah. whole leaf because you don't have a large surface area, right? So mm. it's seeping very slowly. So up to four mm. different cups of tea you can get from it. From one from one serving. From one serving. And one serving is like two to five grams, so like one teaspoon, mm. and you'll get four grams. So even what she's infusing right now, if there was a sometimes we'll have people maybe up to fifty. So we'll do three rounds of that, but we'll never throw out the, the tea leaf. Mm. Oh. We'll just keep adding hot water and mm. keep adding hot water. Wow. Yeah. So you never throw out, once you start, like I usually do it in the morning and I'll have the tea leaves and then I'll just keep it in the, in the kettle and I keep adding hot water through the day. Oh, that's you dope. Have it four days and then you throw it out in the evening. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is so dope. It doesn't like get bad. No, it doesn't. The tea will get moldy, not Moldy, bad. actually, yeah, yeah, tea gets moldy, not bad. Moldy. So the same day is okay the next day mm. might be a problem sometimes if i'm lazy i'll just pop it in the fridge if i don't want mm. to yeah. take, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> take it out for tomorrow and at least you don't get that mm. that mold feel I'm not burning because i was burning <laughs> if you burn it is it bad tea um yes it's called over firing mm. it's not bad tea but it'll taste you taste the overfiring in it. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> perfect. So you see how it's already reduced? Yeah. And then from this, when we hand roll it, it reduces even further. Yeah. And then when we dry it, even further. Mm. So how long to hand roll? We're doing that now. Yeah, we're doing that now. Basically knead it like dough. Mm -hmm. So you put it in a nice little bowl like this. Yeah. How much is this enough? Enough for your palm. So oh. something that feels comfortable, oh. like this, sitting then on you your palm. Squeeze while rolling. But no, just squeeze just it into a dough first, like that. Like like dough. Dough. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like guys, this. Like this. Tea, tea. Yeah, that looks perfect. <laughs> There's enough tea for everyone to grab uh -huh. a bit, so you can grab that. I feel like it's not sticking. Yeah. Uh, it won't stick completely, but it will oh. fold into some yeah, sort no, of bowl. Like okay. Once it does that, you just hold this, mm -hmm. and then you basically mm -hmm. choose a side, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, mm -hmm. and you go mm -hmm. that way. You put a pressure, put a bit of pressure, <laughs> and what we're doing basically is trying to create a surface area on the tea. So you know how mm -hmm. CTC tea, because it's crushed, it has a surface area, it'll infuse. Mm -hmm. This one we need to physically do or manually do it. So we're basically creating delicate tears on the tea leaf cell mm -hmm. for it to infuse into your cup later after it's dried. Ah, nice. yeah, makes sense. So now you'll find that there's some juice coming out. If you mm -hmm. if you roll it nicely, you'll find some juice coming to your hand, just so that it gets nice and curly. I had started someone's hair. Bum bum. <laughs> So how long do we do this? About three minutes. Three minutes. Oh. three minutes should get into a nice curly pattern. And as long as you start feeling that the juices are coming to your palm, we are we're going on a good trajectory. This one. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Yes, yeah, 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 yes, exactly. Yeah, well, you can yeah. even tell that it's, it's curling. That's good. Yes, it's juicy. Yeah, yours has juice. And thank God. <laughs> we thank God for I'm a natural baby. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Why are you like, see, now, now me, I'm done. See, you're going to the same. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I've been here for like six yeah. minutes. Ah. Then we started this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think my hands are too soft for this. Yeah. Uh, that's literally what she said. Actually, yeah. The softer hand is, is, is better. better because mm -hmm. then we need this to make the chairs. She should do the rest. Where is she? Can. <laughs> she can. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sumi has so Miss Miss Nan boarding <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> Baby who's girl. Who's taking this picture of the nini? Baby girl treatment. We <laughs> can take this picture of the whatever. Let's see. This is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So 
if your tea can see blend like here see like this just put it there if it blends just open it up and if it blends here yeah, it what is okay. blending like, this like it looks see, the same see, it blends see, well yeah. see, mine? has That's mine done more. it wow. with my soft hands with your soft hands yes not wow. bad guys okay Yay. second round not bad Yay. and you see it's wow. juiced it's juiced right. well second round Which second round is easier to do i find the right hand is easier but i don't Probably know what your left team oh you're left-handed <laughs> I don't know. We came from one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 My hands are soft. It's wet. It's wet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's be wet. But it's done. Is, yes, that's yeah. done. Oh, that's well. done. Well done. It's another card. I drew one here. Who's done? Who's done that one? <laughs> It's giving Zimbabwe. <laughs> okay, when do we stop? When it blends. When, when it's blending. Yeah. 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 Yes, it's blend. Seven minutes blend. I will be there when I come. I will be there. I am. I am. Just cause the material of your palm is wet. Is it wet? Press your knees like you need me. Uh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Right in, right. So we'll just spread it out. That's okay. dry. Um, it will start drying, oh, air drying a bit oh, fast. Oh, and then oh, add so a little bit of the box. Ooh. All that tea. All that okay, tea. Bless so it is my name. Yeah. But you should be able yeah. to get a few packets here, even if it's okay. three or four. Mm -hmm. uh, no, little like souvenir things. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's done the most work will keep the souvenir. Yeah. Ah, no, ah. It's, 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 <laughs> Nancy did the planning, the, the most planning. And the most planning, <laughs> hey? <laughs> All right, great. We can move into... <laughs> <laughs> you can move to the tea tasting station now. With a scone. Tea tasting cup, you can pick one from here. Everybody has one? Yes, yes. 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 All right, so what we're going to do here. So all these are the different variants of tea that we make at our, our cottage factory, but these are the ones that are the most popular. So we make a variant of them. There are many grades of the same teas as well. These are the most commercially sold. And mm -hmm. I can put it that way. So we will start with the green bush tea mm -hmm. and I'll make you guys compare. So there's some things that we actually have a retail line of. There's some that we don't even sell in wholesale. We're still trying out. So we have black tea from the green bush. That's mm -hmm. the one that you know and love. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. A statement. You're very good at this. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, She's a natural. Thanks. She's saying around my father more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Ah, yeah. She knows about tea. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll start with black tea from the green bush. Mm -hmm. And then I'll want you guys to compare that black tea from the green bush with black tea from the purple bush. Okay. Oh, the black okay. tea from the green bush is already in stores. Mm. Black tea from the purple bush is not. Mm. And then we'll do oolong from the green bush. I'll also want you to compare that with oolong from the purple bush. Mm -hmm. And then we'll move on to green tea. I think everybody has had tea. Sounds tea. Korean. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll move on to yellow tea. Most mm. people might not have heard of yellow tea before. I've never, never that. Heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Still from the green bush. And then we jump from the green bush to the purple bush. Mm. Purple bush, we have purple tea, two leaves on a bud. Mm -hmm. And then we have the champagne of purple tea. Ooh! Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. We got way too excited. From there, we move to something called golden tips. So it's mm. purple golden tips. Mm. It's basically purple tips, so it's still the champagne, but fermented. So this one has no. caffeine, this one doesn't have caffeine. Okay. And then we move to silver tips, the champagne of the, the green bush. Mm. Yes. And then we move to white tea. I think somebody mm. had mentioned that they never had white tea. Yeah. Never never had white, tea. white tea is known, usually known <laughs> to be the bougie tea. Oh. Okay. The champagne is like that. Yeah, so high tea. White tea. Yeah. So high okay. tea. Okay. High tea oh, yeah. is like so white tea. Yeah. But, but and white tea would have tea. different yeah. ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's more about the decadence than the tea sometimes. But I think if you really need to do a good high tea, they should be popping some champagne. They should. Um. It is literally like the tea that you know and love, but yeah, it's it smoother. It's it more smooth. Mm -hmm. it won't be mm -hmm. So this is black from which one is this? Green from the green bush. From the green bush, yeah. exactly. So this coming from like this, black from the green yeah. bush. Oh, it's it's yeah. Namau. 
Sawa boomerang. Yeah. Oh wait, what is this? Put it on. Put a boomerang. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's bitter. Yeah. This is not this is not bitter. How come? Yeah, it's not bitter. Yeah. Yeah. It's I know. It's meant to be just very smooth. Very nice. Right? Because we're very pedantic about two leaves and a bird. Yeah. Leaf quality. Um another thing that would contribute to great black tea especially from kenya is that that is actually our main export mm -hmm. we export black tea so even the clone of green bush tea that we have is for perfected black tea mm -hmm. chinese people have a clone that perfects green tea okay. so our green tea will be a bit on the bitter side mm -hmm. But theirs will better. always be excellent, yes, oh. because their clones are actually perfected for they clone exporting. the bush. The bushes you you get different clones, so they keep improving the clones mm. and you go. So when tea is fermented for long, it becomes uh, let me see, okay. flavor. So black teas are usually more like, like they pack. Yeah, this one is they pack a punch in tea, mm. yeah. but oolong will sort of be a bit lighter, like a yeah. mellow black, yeah. and a less astringent green. Yeah, because it's in the middle of green and black. So oh, this is the champagne yeah. purple tea. This is oh, the champagne okay. or it's purple. Hey, the purple tea is so yeah. 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 That's why I thought it's 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 Me too. It's, not, it's, it's, it's a little puffy though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it has like, 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 it's like, like it's a little purple, purple, purple in there. Yeah, it has a purple. Yeah, a little purple. Oh my god, it smells so nice. Have you smelled it? Yeah, no. Imagine smells nice. Yeah. It's a no. It's great. It's a no. It's a no. But it's After all the things you've taken, this when is I'm the no. It is metal. In my car, it's the best thing to enter. It smells heavy. Yeah. Yeah. This is heavy. So you have to wait for Oh this my is god, lighter. what's wrong with it? This is lighter than the way. No, I like this, this one. It's closer yeah. to. Like, it's closer to. The high biscuit. You will dry. You'll I dry. must have yeah, these names because ooh, whatever we've had, those names, there are so many. There are so many. <laughs> Oh, you you'll you be able to read them back again. They didn't send because I sent a whole brief of like what you need to do. Yeah. yeah. A change of clothes. Um, really good, like grip shoes. Good. They help. They help. They help. They help. They help. I'm serving myself. It's really good. I'm already happy and it's a 20-minute walk. Mm. And it's quite nice furry. But you'll see. Whatever you reach and you don't feel comfortable, just you know, I'm a good, I'm a love of tea. Yeah. Then I'll miss everything. <laughs> then, then so do I. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it up! Suck it up! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're doing your retaste. <laughs> Smooth. No, I'll come back for more. <laughs> the, the golden. Nazima Lisa. Video? Here on your Instagram, is in each other, you make me want to move. What is this inside its tea? Yeah. Nigani. Uh, champagne. Champagne. Mm. That's bitter. We didn't test this. You one. did. It was light. Mm -hmm. That is. Did yeah. we mix? No. This one is bitter because it has been left for a while. Mm. Yeah. It tastes like medicine. <laughs> Even even here, ni mekunywa ni bitter. Yeah, the one with the ribs a lot are bitter. Most especially that one. <laughs> oh, uh, like in a kind of kama it has been brewed. Yeah, for a while, for a long time. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I'm going to go to the next one. I 
amazing, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Time for the waterfalls. Coffee trees, coffee, coffee. <laughs> wow, look at this beautiful farm. Wow. So the green bush and the purple bush. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see, see this bamboo. Let's see some bamboo here. Wow. Oh, 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 we are going down there where there is some waterfall So this is where the tour ends after all the farm tour, the tree, purple farm. Now we are here at the waterfalls. This is the Tura Green waterfall. The waterfalls also come from Badea Forest. Okay. <laughs> This is a a green bush. It's a green bush, purple bush. This is a green bush farm. We are still here. So it's been a wonderful day. From picking tea, we went into processing tea and testing testing and sampling different types of tea. Then we went for waterfall hike and now we came back for lunch and it's been a good day. I now want to go back to Nairobi. 
then I'll be going back to my town. So from Gatura Greens, say thank you for being with us in this journey and see you on the next one.